All right, uh, good afternoon or good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Whatever time might be when you're watching this video, of course, that's Rick climbing in the front cockpit, if you haven't already figured that one out. There he is. Getting helped in by uh, Kirsten, one of our ground crew here at Warbird Adventures. And my name in the back here is Tom Richard. The uh, aircraft in question is a 1945 model SNJ-6, also known as a T-6 Texan or a Harvard. We're going to go on a 15-minute introductory hop to the T-6 here today. Today's dad being September 23rd, 2003. Nice day here in Kissimmee, Florida. High overcast and uh, cool temperatures. Very nice. There they are. I'm going to turn off the video here, though, for a couple minutes until they're finished with the briefing. I'll be right back. Hope you folks enjoy the show. How do you hear, Rick? Uh, just fine. Very good. So what's your flying experience? In about uh, 15 minutes in a uh, Piper Cherokee 30 years ago. Okay. So I'm a little rusty. Just a little bit, huh? Yeah. All right, we're out of here. So unlike the Cherokee, as we're taxing here, you probably notice that we can't see anything forward. Uh, correct. So S-turns are in order. I'm actually sticking my head out in the breeze back and forth as necessary to see what's in front of us. I give the uh, ground controller a call if no, we're on our way. Ground Texan 2 again for 1-5. Texan 2, good afternoon again. Taxi back 2, runway 1-5. One 1-5 one and it is a very good afternoon. There goes the Mustang. Mm. Oh, actually, if you look inside the hangar on the right, you see some other cool airplanes. Yeah, nice little collection. Yep. All privately owned those. We're going to do our pre takeoff checklist real quick before we blast off into the wild blue yonder, or actually wild gray yonder today. This overcast kind of nice for a change. Not a lot of glare. Oh, that's right. The sun's not too hot either, you know. 1600, cycle of prop, 200 RPM drop, an increase in manifold pressure, fluctuation, all pressure is good. Mixer is rich, we're going to 2000. Oh, we'll check our max. Left and right, they're both good. Mixture is functioning and we'll throttle back to check the idle. Hydraulics. Left or up, trims are set. Fuel on the left tank, prop mix forward. Mags on both, altimeter set. Shoulder harness locked and the controls are free. And correct. I am ready to go if you are. I'm ready. Tower takes on two, ready to go. Takes on two, sorry, tower clear for takeoff. Clear to go. So we're looking for 36 inches of manifold pressure, 2250 RPM, all the engine instruments in the green. There we go. All right, engine instruments are happy, airspeed is alive, the tail is off the ground. 80 miles an hour there, and we are airborne. Ah. Landing gear's coming up, and we're back on the power. I always do a little clearing turn like that so I can see what's happening in front of me. Okay. Well, since you already know how to fly, I want you to take over. <laughs> you got it. Stick and rudder's yours. find the controls of this aircraft are probably a bit lighter from what you remember. Yeah, yeah. The T-6 is surprisingly light and responsive. Or, uh, it's nice. Goes up just a little bit. 
Good. Let's come left a couple of degrees. We're avoiding the houses on the climb out, just for noise. Let's be nice. There we go. We can go straight. Even though the airport was here first, we'd still try to fly neighborly, you know? I can understand that. Alright, continue a little bit of a right turn here. Basically, we're going to follow the shoreline of the lake down south there. What do you do for a living, Rick? Technical writer. A technical writer? Yeah. Manuals, that kind of thing. Exactly. You like it? Lots. Good. Any specific kind of equipment or anything? Uh, I can do anything, but uh, I spent several years doing C-130s and C-5s for Lockheed. Oh, I see. They let me sit in the cockpit, but they never let me play with the buttons. Oh, really? Yeah. Something about FAA regulations, something like that, I... Huh. Interesting. I got the fly C5 once. About 20 minutes. Not very aerobatic. No, not really. But you could fit an awful lot of aerobatic airplanes inside of it. Yeah, it's true. They did that one year, you know, they took the, uh... International, the uh, U.S. aerobatic team over to Europe for a contest. Load them all up in the back of a C-5. I remember that. I was working for Lockheed at the time. Oh, okay. Oh, why don't you make some turns? Have some fun. Get used to her. All right. Disney Tower, this is Cessna 69226, 8 miles west of the airfield, inbound for touch and go, 69226. Yeah, it says the 69226, Kissimmee Tower, we're landing runway 15. From the west, you can make a right base entry and report three miles west of the airport. Report three miles west of the airport. Let me try a steeper turn to the right here for me. All right. Don't be worried about rolling it over. There is uh, no such thing as too steep of a turn in a T6. All right. That's about a 30 degree bank. You're welcome to do 70 or 80 if you want. All right, I'll give that a try. Whatever you're comfortable with, of course. So where are you out of? Massachusetts, now. Okay. Nice time of year to be down here. Yeah. Getting a little chilly up there now. Yeah, be getting the first frost soon. <laughs> All right, let's come back to the right. I'll stay and play on this side of the lake so we stay out of the approach path for Orlando. Okay, that's a good idea. Not that we can't be there, it's just... It's just as good to fly over here, so. But you look at your left wingtip as you're continuing this right turn. I guess I'll snap a series of pictures here. There you go. I uh, just crawled down in the cockpit out of view on one of those. It's going to look like you're flying it solo. Ah. Something to show your buddies back home. Yeah. Would you like to do 
something fun like a wing over? Yeah, sure. All right, follow me through the controls so you feel what I'm doing. Okay. There's a nice and gentle maneuver, nothing violent. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of airspeed here. We're also going to lose a little altitude. Orlando's airspace starts at 3,000 right here. I'll demonstrate this one to the right, okay? All right. Here we go. Starts with a gentle pull up. Nothing violent. Good fun, though. Look at your left wing tip briefly. File. Gotcha. All right. We load over the top. What do you think of this? Nice. Good fun, huh? All right. Your turn. Okay. So you can do it to the left. So go ahead and pull up. And slowly turn to the left at the same time. Heading straight in for runway 15. This is the 48284 Kissimmee Tower on a stair. Very nice. West of the field now for the straight in the 15. That's affirmative. And pull out. Okay, 48284, we are using 15. You make a straight in, report 3 miles on the mile. Okay, we'll report 3 miles, 48284. And you're here for touch and goes or full stop when you get it. That's a little bit of a warm out of what the aircraft can actually do, obviously. Yeah. The aerobatics is obviously the best part. Uh-huh. I'm talking oh. my wife into that for the next trip. Yeah, all right, cool. Gives you a reason to come back. Yes. How do you like her? Very nice, very friendly. This part is. There's a little more to it, of course. Yeah, yeah. All right, why don't you give me a left turn here? All right. from November 49258. Uh, we are 10 miles to the southwest of the field, um, requesting rejoin. And this is the 49258 Kissimmee Tower. We are using runway 15 today. Uh, report over the Point Santa Towers for the uh, right downwind. Report over the towers for the right downwind, uh, November 49258. Just continue all the way around, and then we can head home. Okay. You just keep turning. You can make it a little steeper. Roll it on over. Okay. 258, full stop for touch and goes. Just turn, uh, turn a little steeper. Just roll it on over. There you go. And pull up a little bit. Good. Keep turning left. There. Now we're getting a little a better rate of turn going. Keep turning left. Uh, 69226, three miles west of the airfield. How are you feeling? Very good. Excellent. Good deal. Not yet. Continue. I'm going to call the tower back up. Texan 2, 10 south. Nose down a little. Texan 2, Kissimmee Tower, runway 15, report the initial for the overhead approach. Will do. Nose down a little bit more. Going to go back down to about 1,800 feet. So nose down a little bit. There we go, that's better. Kissimmee Tower, 6, 9, 2, 2, 6, 1 mile out, uh, answering base. 69226, I've got you in sight. Winds at 140 at 6, clear touch and go. Clear touch and go, 6. Goes down a little bit. And let's turn left somewhat. There we go, that's a good heading. Let's go straight. But keep descending though, we've got to head down to 1800 feet here. So is it at all like you expected it to be, or is it different? Very uh, for similar to what I expected. A little windier, but pleasantly so. Well, that's a nice part about flying with the open canopy. Yeah. It gives a fresh air, you know? If you close it, it gets quite warm. No, this is just perfect.
just head downhill a little. You have a bit of a tendency to want to pull up. Okay. It's a natural thing. Most people do early on. As if to keep the airplane flying, you know, but airplane flies itself. You pretty much just tell it when you want something to change. Just means I need more practice, I guess. Well, you don't get your license in an hour, you know. That's true. But you're doing, you're doing just fine. The coordination is good. You're smooth. That's excellent. If you can, go ahead and squawk 1200. Okay, we'll squawk 1200 for 8284. Okay, so this is 4824. We're about uh, three miles northwest inbound for uh, full stop landing. Thanks, I'm looking, not in sight from the tower just yet. Winds are uh, 140 at 5, and clear to land runway 15. Clear to land runway 154 Is that Disney somewhat ahead of us? I beg your pardon? Is that uh, Disney World somewhat ahead of us? Yes, it is. You see the Epcot ball? Yes, I do. Downtown Orlando is over to your right. Gotcha. And uh, Kissimmee Tower from November 49258. Uh, we're over the towers. That's fine. 49258, uh, right in on side report turning midfield right down. Report midfield uh, downwind uh, right hand, November two, uh, 49258. Cessna 69 or 226, take it up with another half a mile before you start to cross them, please. Let's turn into the right. Section 2 firing initial, requesting 1,000. Section 2, uh, unable 1,000 right now. I got one Cessna on about a two mile, maybe a mile and a half straight, and you make the right break to follow him. Okay. All right, continue turning to the right, line up on that runway, so turn a little steeper. All right. Nose up slightly. Keep turning, turn more, yeah, turn so more, line up. Down a thousand if you want now. Thanks. Let's dive. That's good, and level off, level off. Just go straight, don't pull up, just go straight, level off here. I don't see that system. Alright, let's turn right. November 4925. There he is, okay, is, good. Uh, joining downwind midpoint, uh, right hand for runway uh, 15, keep coming. 4925 thanks, I've got you in sight. Traffic off your right wings, a Texan doing the overhead approach, he's just entering the downwind now. Yeah, we have that traffic, sir, thanks. Cessna 69 or 226, you're now following Cessna traffic. That's Cessna traffic ahead to your left, a little bit wide on the downwind. Okay, we have traffic in sight, 226. Okay, follow Section me through. Number one, winds 130 with six, clear to land. Clear to land, Section two. Here comes the landing gear. F49258, number two behind the Texan. Down a lot. Here comes the flaps. This is Mikhail, this is Cessna 69226, midfield downwind for touch and go. And 69226, number three in line, follow the Cessna, head to your left, clear touch and go. Follow the Cessna, clear touch and go, 226. Alright, gears down, lock the both sides, flaps are down, trim set. And prop mixers now forward.
On the numbers, welcome back. Yep. Hope that was the satisfaction. It was, this was outstanding. Excellent, glad to hear it. Ground, Texan 2 is clear, going home. Texan 2, Brown, good afternoon again, TWA. TWA. Why don't you open your canopy all the way there, Rick? Well, next time we'll go turn upside down. How's that sound? Sounds good to me. Wait, is that upon the part my wife, uh, the video my wife's going to hear? Absolutely. Yep. <laughs> With your permission, dear. I'm sure she'll be excited. <laughs> I think she could handle the 15 minute too. Oh yeah. She's a, she's a little nervous about the aerobatics for herself, but uh, she could have done that with no problem. Well, the aerobatics is something we take to the individual level. We're, we're not here to prove anything or impress anybody. The, the trick is to get some people excited about it, make them want to come back and do it again. So our motivation is obviously just that. So we work our way up slowly to whatever level they're, they're good with. So uh, I, I'd say it, j pretty much everybody can handle aerobatics just fine. A lot of people are apprehensive about it because they, it's, you know, fear of the unknown. But, yeah, yeah. But you find that uh, everybody that does it have a ball. There we go. We're back. Bags are off. Thanks for flying with us. Thank you for taking me. You're welcome.